Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Clancy with 1013 Vintage, where we talk quality thrifting and everything fancy. And I have a couple of things that I wanted to share with you that I got from the thrift store and an unboxing from Nordstrom's. So stay tuned to see what I picked up. We're coming into spring and it's so nice to see that all the thrift stores are coming out with all of these colors. I picked up this vintage Yvonne Pecan blouse. As you can see, it has like a balloon sleeve, which is going to be absolutely fun to wear. And it actually has a tie in the front. No stains, no markings. The buttons are invisible. So when you button when you button this particular blouse, and it's it's more likely that you'll see this in a lot of vintage blouses, you can button a blouse down and you it will be invisible. So you won't see the actual buttons so all you'll see is just the solid color print of the yellow so this is absolutely fun to wear I can't wait to style this up and you see you won't even have to see when you're buttoning it up see how all the buttons are like they're like um, black buttons or brown buttons or even if they had clear you won't be able to see this when you button the sh button the blouse so try to look for, when you're thrifting for blouses, try to look for blouses that have invisible buttons so you won't see that as a silhouette when you're dressing. Next, I found, and I actually stuffed it, uh, this chain vintage leather vintage purse that's fairly, I wanna say this is a medium size. And it's very similar to like a vintage Chanel. Some balls, look at the leather. It has like a couple of markings that I can probably clean up. The chain is intact. And I love it. Like this would be really nice for me to wear out running errands. It's a nice leather bag. Who doesn't love a nice leather bag? And I wanna say that the, the chains are long enough for you to do a crossbody, so you could be hands-free walking around. That's the, that's the trend now, hands-free bags. Who wants to walk around walking around with a large tote that doesn't have a strap in it? And it actually says very large that it, it's a clean bag Look at it. and it's made in Italy and I want to say it's by Raquel, Raquel Wolf, I don't know who that is, but and it has a zipper and these come out, not that you would want to take them out, but these chains come out and I want to see if you had another tan bag, you can switch up because this is a very heavy. But this is a very heavy chain. Another thing, when you're finding these kinds of vintage leather bags, because these are really, um, you can find these a lot in the thrift stores. You can find this in your local Salvation Army, Goodwill, a Savers. Um, you want to make sure that the tie that's along the chain is not coming apart. So always check to see if the, the leather that's intertwined is not coming apart in the, in the bag. Spruce this up with some good leather cleaner and you're good to go. Love this.
my next item that I got. I didn't get much today and it's all about when you're thrifting, it's all about not trying to get so much things. You don't have to get a huge quantity quantity of clothing or accessories. It's it's the quality. You want to make sure you have good quality items that will last a, a lifetime. Even when this doesn't have feet at the bottom, but clearly this is a very clean bag that whoever had it did not drag it on the floor. You know, I can just spruce and clean this up with a little leather cleaner and I'm good. Um, the next thing I got, which I was so excited when I saw this, I found a vintage vintage Valentino blouse. Super cute. Look at the sleeves. And it has like a a ribbed bottom to gather at the waist. So you can probably wear this as like a as a crop top. It's very sheer, so you might want to wear like a camisole or maybe a black undergarment underneath. And it has Valentino throughout the, um, hopefully this is, it has Valentino, little V's, all throughout the, the blouse. I thought this was super fun. Love this. You can style this any way. You can style this with black pants, shorts, leggings, a skirt. You can wear this with a leather skirt, leather shorts. Just have fun. Have fun with, with pieces like this. This is an item that I would say could last forever. This is on trend. Valentino is always in. Look, they even have the, the nice Valentino on the sleeve. And this is super cute. So I think that's it for the, the thrift finds. You know, again, be sure when always looking for thrift items, you want to make sure there's no holes, there's no tears, um, the underarms aren't soiled. You want to make sure that the thread isn't, there's no pulls. If there is, you can always take it to your, your, your local um, seamstress, or if you know how to sew, you can probably fix it on your own. But you just want to double check for those things. Because even though these items are um, very low in cost, you still don't want to spend so much money trying to um, remake it or recreate it. So, okay, next. I actually would like to talk about some things fancy. So I went to Nordstrom and I picked up some Smell Good, a nice little scent. And I'm actually going to do an unboxing with you today. We have a little bit of Joe Malone. Who doesn't love Joe Malone? And when you open it up, They have like a little, oh, that's cute. Look at that. You can also carry it in here. I think there's a couple of samples in here. And the scent that I got is Oud and Bergamot. Oud and Bergamot. I love me some oud. Oud, you know, it's also known as like um, Arga wood. It's like a high risen that stems from the Middle East. It's a very strong scent. So if you like to smell like a strong woodsy scent, uh, oud is the way to go. I love anything that has oud in it. It smells so good. I can wear this. Mm, I can wear this every day. It's a 50 mil. And what did I? How much was it? Um, it was 
$130 for a 50 ml. So you definitely will get your money's worth cost per spray. You can just wear this. I actually want to start sharing some of the scents that I that I purchased because I love beautiful scents um, throughout the year. Uh, I don't know who, I, I wear scents all day, morning, noon, and night. I love spraying myself after I get out the shower or after a long bath. Um, and yeah, I wanted to share this with you. So if you do like a oud scent and you want to start off small, this is a nice bottle by Joe Malone at Nordstrom. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed my thrift finds and a little bit of unboxing with C from Joe Malone. Please press like, subscribe, tell a friend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.